Hey YouTube, we are back with another Resident Evil tutorial and in today's video we're looking at a 3x3 pillar door. Um, now I haven't been uploading recently because um, I've just been really sick. Um, <laughs> it's like I've had like some weird stomach bug or sickness or illness, whatever you want to say, um, that just like, like one of the days um, I was just like really too sick that I, well I was vomiting and like just not not a good time at all. Um, and yeah, I, I ended up like not eating the whole day as well, so that was a big pain. Um, but now I'm a lot better, so um, I can hopefully get it back into the groove of making videos. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys uh, do enjoy this video. So <laughs> yeah, so this is basically the 3i3 pillar, pillar door, so if it just flick the lever, as you can see it will retract and uh, open up a secret little passageway that we can go through um, and then also if I just flick it again as you can see it will uh, it'll just uh, close up and it will be like nothing happened <laughs> um, but yeah so uh, this is like insanely small um, it's only like 5 by 4 by 6 or 4 by 5 by 6 um, uh, so that's like nuts um, and yeah, it's just like a pretty cool way of actually doing it as well. So I'm pretty proud of it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy it. Um, but let's just hop on with a tutorial. So I'm just going to be right back. And we are back. And I've just got like a 5x4 area, as you can see. And then it's going to be, we're going to be using this floor, or the floor, to actually put some stuff on it. Um, so it's counting this. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna have your pillar, or your, yeah, your pillar right here. Um, so let's just get started with the red zone. So, or well, with, I'd say the layout, let's say. Um, so you wanna go down, like, first of all, uh, another, like, you wanna go down to here, and then you wanna have two or three sticky pistons facing upwards, and they're gonna be handling your sort of entrance right here, um, so that the pillars can go. Um, and then for the double piston extenders, you want to have um, one there, and then you can take out that block there because it's not needed. Then have another one there, then another, and then another, another there, well, there, and also there. And that is your layout done. Um, all you really have to do is put in your pillars, but I'm just going to use um, some blocks there just for now. Um, and then we can get on with it. <laughs> and you can also put like some blocks here so you, you don't have to see, or you don't have to like sort of see into the dark abyss below there. Um, <laughs> but that, yeah, that's basically the layout. Um, so if you wanna actually attempt it by yourself, um, by all means, go ahead. Um, but this is just the way that I did it. So yeah, let's just get started. Um, so you wanna have your input being right there and then have a repeater coming out of the input right there going into a block with a uh, three pieces of redstone on the side of that or on the back of that um, just like that and then have a block there as well as another one right there um, and then have torches on all these three blocks so kind of oh, so it's kind of like that um, and then for the the middle one right here you want to have a block up right there and then have a torch there and I'm just going to do that so it's uh, nice and um, not uh, extended really. <laughs> um, but then over here for the size, um, you wanna have a block up right here with a piece of dust, then have two blocks either side of that, then have a torch there, torch there, and then have any old block right there, as long as something or a red zone can be transmitted through it. Um, and that's basically gonna be the same thing for this side, so block up right here, red zone, block, 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 torch, and then torch. And then I'm just gonna do that so it's nice and uh, tidy. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's basically the the basic circuit done. Um, so if I just flick that, as you can see, it will, um, it will retract. And we haven't actually wired in these three yet, um, but it's a double piston extender that's done right now. So if you just flick it, and there we go. Um, so for the these three right here, what you want to do is you want to have a torch right there, 
and then another another one on the other side as well. You're gonna have a block there, block there, and on this side you wanna have a block down with a piece of dots on it, and then have a block up right there. And that is your uh, your them that I buy it. Really. <laughs> so as you can see, they will all extend and be nice. I mean, if I close it, uh, there we go, and boom. <laughs> So it works. Um, now all we really have to do is put in that falling edge. And that is done by having a dropper right here, going into another dropper, and then have a hopper that's going into the first dropper, so the lowest one, and then have another hopper going into that hopper right there. And that will create a pulse that will go every other tick, or every other pulse that will, it will be getting. Um, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> and you want to stick a compiler right there, so it's cool. Um, so then what you want to do is you want to have a item in the top dropper um, when it's in this state, uh, by the way. So when, the, when it's all flat and um, open, you want to have an item in the top dropper. Um, but if it's like, if say if it, um, it was it had like these, the double piston extenders extended right there. Um, what you want to do in, is you want to drop an item into the top hopper right there and then it will reset itself, so like that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And then the ironing, it will, the, whatever item that you choose to put in there will go into the top dropper. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> well, that's basically it. Um, so as you can see, if I just flick it and flick it again, it will do its thing. <laughs> so now what we can do is put in the pillars. Uh, so if we just get the pillar block and then put some right there and then also there. Um, now it's, uh, that's looking good and also functioning good. So that is really cool. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Uh, like, comment and subscribe and peace.